Owl House Season 3 has finally started airing, and my goodness, 40 minutes goes by so fast. But while we wait for our next dose, I wanted to show you all the references I could find in the Owl House episode. Firstly, we have our most clear Amphibia reference right at the beginning. A missing poster with Anne on it. Instead of an apple, it looks like a jalapeno? I'm, I'm not quite sure. What do you think? Seven minutes in, there is the Blue Owl of Death himself, Duolingo, teaching them Spanish. Hunter has fixed a large Jurassic Park badge onto some clothes. The series Gus introduces Hunter to is heavily based on Star Trek, with a slight hint towards Star Wars. We discover that the memorabilia belongs to Manny and Camilla, which probably means back in the day they were considered extremely geeky or nerdy for being into that, especially for dressing up and going to conventions. When Luz goes to her mom for comfort, you can see Luz's snake skin she found as a child in the form of an Ouroboros, which is the snake eating itself. The symbolism can refer to cycles or infinity, but in this situation, I would argue it means continuously learning and evolving, which ties into her mom's message of learning from her mistakes. Although Luz's interpretation of that is not exactly what her mother intends. There's a little play on words with Hexus Hold'em being in the Halloween shop instead of Texas Hold'em. In the background of the Halloween store, you can also see the costume of Ness from Earthbound, or Smash if you know him from there, and Akko from Little Witch Academia. In Willow's scrapbook, you can also see all of them watching Hocus Pocus disdainfully. In Camila's vet, there is another Amphibia reference. If you look on the wall, you can see a poster with Hop Hop's face on. Camilla also seems to hate Mondays, with a Garfield-like image on her mug. Luz seems to own one of the lesser-known Nintendo gaming systems, the Nintendo Swap. When Luz records a diary entry, you can take a glimpse at all the games she plays. Stardew Valley, Hollow Knight, and Hades. Also with some, uh, Good Witcher Zero fanfic in the corner. During the festival, the play that is being put on is a reference to The Crucible which is a fictional play that dramatizes the events of the Salem Witch Trials. During the trials, neighbors came into conflict during a witch hunt and accused each other of witchcraft. Many people suffered and died due to these false accusations, which many believe to be the result of grudges or land grab disputes between the community. Another amphibia reference, yeah, I should probably watch the show. Someone is dressed as Captain Grime watching the play. In Luce's younger days, she seems to be a big fan of Mario. Before getting into Soul Eater and Resident Evil 4, It Came From The Dirt feels like a reference to old horror movies with similar titles such as It Came From Outer Space or They Came From The Swamp. It is Halloween, so it's only fitting that the Pumpkin King, Jack Skellington, from The Nightmare Before Christmas appears on V's phone case. That about rounds it up. Oh, wait. The last reference is all the pumpkins are a reference to Steven Universe. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found something new, or at least something you didn't see in the first watch. If you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing. My content is very, very random, but I will be doing series, cartoon, or anime related stuff at least once a week. That might be a review, it might be something similar to what you just saw. The next thing I'll be doing is my first impressions of I'm the Villainess, so I tamed the final boss, and in a later video, a deeper dive into the Ouroboros theme that we spoke about briefly today in the Owl House episode. But until then, stay well.